Class 2, 1200 metres for the second last on the programme, race number nine, headed by California Fortune, Tony Cruz and Neil Callan. Behind Alma Baby last time out. He'll try and roll forward, though, you'd imagine, from barrier six. Limitless. One, two starts back. That was his final start of the season last year. Last when he returned. Alma Baby. One, two starts back. Run up behind Wishful Thinker last time out. Pick number one. It's only his second time on the turf. He's won five of eight, his eight starts uh, so far in his career. We've got uh, Lone Eagle, makes his Hong Kong debut. He won a race in Australia. Shanghai Master was a, a winner two starts back. Fantastic Eight goes up in class. Runner up behind Starling City down the straight last time out. Storm Signal up in class as well. And War Room caught a few uh, people's eyes on debut behind Little Giant. Just his second start. He's got barrier 13. New Asia Sunrise and Limitless have been up at uh, Chung Fa, returning on the 26th of October and the 12th of November. Um, says good. I think potentially there's the chance it could be good to fast here. Pick number one, California Fortune, Storm Signal, Fantastic Eight. They can all roll and roll quickly early. So if they're battling out, you know, for favouritism or uh, the favourite spot going into that first bend, it's going to generate some speed. Shanghai Masters, another one, could roll forward. New Asia Sunrise 2. Alma Baby hasn't been far away, so I'd expect it to be good, maybe a little bit quicker. Limitless is going to have a gear change. They're going to put blinkers on him. We know he's quirky. Uh, but you can see he gallops OK with his blinkers on. He's doing it quite nicely here. and uh, He looks like he's a little bit more settled, dare I say it. Uh, <laughs> Limitless. <laughs> Barrier one, Gerald uh, Mosea board. Here's pick number one. Just thought we'd show this on the grass, because obviously uh, most of his work and um, racing has been on the all weather. But uh, look, he's had one start on the grass and he's run second, albeit in class four, but... Moves nicely enough there. And here's uh, the first starter, Lone Eagle. 12, 16 pounds, tongue tie on. He's had two trials leading in. I don't know if he's quite there yet, Lone Eagle, but he's worth uh, showing as well. A yeah, nice looking horse. Had some tendonitis issues. Yeah. Don't expect any pace from him, I would have thought. All right, Tony Millard and Chad Schofield combined with him. This is the third uh, double trio. Jackpot of 600,000 going into an estimated dividend of $3 million if you're having a go. At this. Right, we're going to start where? California Fortune and Alma Baby locked horns last time out. Eptimum wasn't beaten fast. Summer Passage and Shanghai Master involved as well, all at Happy Valley. Yeah, we know a fair bit about some of these. I'm going to sort of side towards Eptimum. I made him a horse to follow recently and I didn't mind the way that he got home here. I think coming to Sha Tin will be better for him now that he's starting to find a little bit of form. I actually really like the run behind Little Giant 3 back there in very fast time. We know that Little Giant form line's strong. Look at him finding the line here. I think bigger track's better. I I'm going to tip it because it's a race I'm not overly confident with. Yeah, I'm going to go with the one out of that race as well at odds is Summer Passage because mm. I just thought he ran out of condition there in the last 150. He came through really nicely on the inside and uh, he'll be suited by Charton. So second up, we'll give him a chance. All right, well, California Fortune looked like he uh, had that race uh, won before Alma Baby grabbed him late. Let's go back to Neil Callan once more. He'll tell us more about California Fortune. California Fortune, Neil, a horse that's gone close, run a number of good races in defeat this season. You'd be happy to jump back on board? Yes, um, he's been running very consistent this season. Um, I won on him at the back in the last season. He was most impressive. And that's probably kind of just put the dampeners on his rating a little bit at the moment. But... You know, he's come back this season and he's run a few credible races, um, noticeably behind uh, Little Giant. So, look, we know what he we know what he can do, we know what he is. He, he likes to just roll along in front and, um, you know, if he can get the fractions in the tempo right and be left alone, then we know he's very dangerous to run down. He looks a pretty honest type of horse. Yeah, he's very honest. Uh, I think uh, when I when I finished second to Little Giant, I didn't even have to use my whip on him, So, uh, which is which is normally Tony's style. But, uh, look, he's very honest, he's game, and, uh, like I say, if, if he gets everything just nice and easy and the tempo's good and he's left alone, then he, he's very dangerous to run that. Solid chance from Barrier 6. That's Ooh. California Fortune. Uh, we'll keep moving, though. Storm Signal. Um, took a while to break through, but when he did, um, he looked loud like he's a... He's a proper racehorse again. He got beaten by the draw here, I think, as well. And, uh, look, he's a, a most improved horse this season. He took a season to get to get used to Hong Kong. Uh, these are over 1,000. I think up to the 1,200, he'll just give that chance to get into a nice position. I've got him in on a minor line because I think he's an improved horse. He's quite a similar horse to California Fortune. They're at either ends of the scale. One's going to carry weight, one doesn't. Uh, I'm going to side with the one that does carry weight. All right. Uh, limitless. Carries a, a weight of expectation. Um, Particularly is, from you, Andrew. Uh, he's one yeah, of your faves. He is. Um, but we're going to have a look at pick number one first. Uh, on the dirt, he's never trialled on the turf, only one start on the turf. He's off a rating of 89 here. He got um, beaten on the turf by a horse called Better Choice, who's had some 
interruptions throughout his career due to soundness, but they did run good time. But he's clearly, I think, a better horse on the all-weather from what we've seen. And I'm not sure that he's come back as good as he was going last season. Having said that, we spoke about this trial earlier with Riven just powering away, and he was untouched down there on the rail. He was, yeah. Look, he's a nice horse, this horse. He always nice, big, strong horse. I'm going to put him in on a minor line, because I, I don't think... I think he is a better horse on the all-weather, but I think still think he's capable on the on the turf. All right, that was class four, and his last start on the turf. He's now in class two. This is War Room. Just one start to judge him on so far. This could be a very interesting horse coming out of Western Australia. Um, arrived here on a rating of 81. Ran a bottler first up from the outside barrier behind Little Giant. Nice trial there. He's got a lightweight and an awkward barrier again, but he looks a real runner, a real likely type. So. In a race that, for me, is a bit tricky to work out, he'll go in. Yeah, I left him out because of the draw, but, look, he, it, it was a good run on debut. Mm. Yeah, barrier 13 he's come up with here. Raging Storm is our favourite, Paul. Wide, wide open market, though. Yeah, really, yeah. that's why I'm going to go with uh, Summer Passage. I just think he's got Group 1 form, as we know, in Australia and New Zealand. Don't think this is a strong race. Second up, he'll strip fitter. From Raging Storm, who should be a fit horse gainer, this should get a nice run. We'll get pick number one a chance. He is a multiple winner already here in Hong Kong. And Storm Signal, an improved horse. 6, 12, 5 and 13. But I'm going to take a chance 6 each way. Yeah, you know, I wasn't real confident in this race, so I'm going to shop for a bit of value and go with Eptimum. I think he's coming along nicely. I like that run at the Valley. I expect him to further improve, returning to Sha Tin. War Room does look a nice horse. The gate's wide and awkward again. Raging Storm's got the fitness, as Paul mentioned, as does California Fortune. 10, 14, 12, 1. California fortune, big weight on his back, but as Neil said there, he's as honest as the day is long. He'll do for me.